going to Thailand. I was scrolling through Instagram a couple weeks ago and came across a Thailand fishing guide. His name, I don't know if this audio is gonna work. Okay, we're gonna wait and I'll probably restart all this. Oh, okay, we're good. Um, so long story short, um, flying to Thailand, going fishing for six days, a very, very quick trip. We're gonna be fishing for some crazy fish. I don't even know what we're all gonna catch, but uh, they're gonna be giant and they're gonna be exotic and it's gonna be freaking hot. We made it to Hong Kong. For now we got a three hour flight and um, I'm just gonna get ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Bangkok. Feeling gross, but luckily we're not fishing today. We're gonna get to the hotel, meet Alex and Sam, go get some food, and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. Do you do any fishing? Yeah. Yeah, do you catch fish? Do you go fishing around here? Fishing? Yeah. Fishing. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Big ones. thing here though? I feel like Thai curry. Thai food is way more thing than sushi. Probably, we're in Thailand. But there are some sushi places, but I think we should wait for Wes to get sushi. I'll take a uh, spicy roll. Spicy roll. <laughs> this is gonna be a trip, boys. Yeah, this is gonna be. <laughs> Luckily, our guide Tap speaks very fluent English. I have Skyped with him, and he's legit, so. Are you gonna eat all the appies for yourself? <laughs> How would you describe the climate here? Do you want to show your chest to all the people at home? Oh, that is so That's bad. the climate. That's the climate. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in the morning. That was good. That was fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we will see you guys in the morning. We're actually going to be fishing tomorrow, so you're not going to want to miss this. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys. How's it going? How's it going? Man. Sir, we're special. Oh, what's, what's up? How are you? How's, How's it going, man? So, Tap, you think we're going to catch any fish today? We're going to catch tons of fish. Tons of fish. Okay, yeah. six days, how many species do you predict? Uh, I want ten. 10 species yep. in six days? I want 10. I'd be happy with that. We need, uh, we need this new guy in the back to introduce himself. Wes, who are you? Why are you here? What are you doing? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> Why am I here? Are you going to slay some air pine on fly? Catch yeah. Catch a 20 pounder? Well, Wes is here because this is his native homeland and he needed to visit his, <laughs> his, his residence. <laughs> his roots. His roots. His roots. And um, we just decided to add him along on the trip. It was kind of a last minute deal and he, uh, he's here. The, the part that's nice is Wes is another videographer. He does all the stuff for the Guggen Squad. And uh, so everyone except Alex can handle a camera here. So it's going to be good no matter who catches the fish. <laughs> We're going to get some footage. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, look at that catfish. <laughs> look at that catfish. <laughs> So instead of, you know, you're always, how do you pick a fishing spot? Well, you look on this map and you just go, oh, I want to be at number seven, and you sit at number seven for 12 hours, and there are 20,000 fish in the size of 40, this. 40, there's like 50,000. Oh, 50,000. I don't know, a lot. There's a lot of fish in this little pond, and we get to sit at number seven and just relax and reel in giant exotic fish. You ever heard of Jeremy Wade? No, I haven't. Who is he? <laughs> it's just this random dude. What do you think? It's crazy. So Jeremy spent three weeks in the river trying to catch a mekong. Uh -huh. Couldn't catch a damn thing. 
So it came here and just kept it. Just like that. Here. Yeah. Look at these fish. So as Alex pointed out on the map, you basically reserve a hut for the day and that's your home. They've got a washroom, they've got cooking facilities. Um, Massage. No, are there massages? Yeah, massages. Tap, you give massages? Facilities. You know, tap gives massages for a little bit extra. Uh, this is gonna be good. We, we just, uh, you, you pay based on rod as well. So we're just gonna do two rods. Um, just because with us filming and taking turns, I don't think we need more than that, so. Yeah, we'll be good. What do you think? What, we, what do I think? Okay. I'm beyond excited. Let's go check it out. <laughs> this will work, eh? This will work. So do you want that fish or that fish or that fish? What's up, boys? Having a good morning? Couple beers? <laughs> Those guys are getting right into it. <laughs> it's like 6 a.m. They're already after it. Oh my gosh. Get him! That was 30 seconds into lines in the water probably. Tap was throwing out some chum and uh, we hooked up. We are at B Bungs Moran. Bungs Moran. Our first stop on our six day tour. And uh, Alex graciously gave me the first fish. <laughs> Mostly because I'm not ready yet. First fish, we're gonna get our glimpse. What is that? Drive? Yeah! Species number one. <laughs> we got it. First fish, striped catfish. Um, this is a good starter fish. I don't think I wanted a bigger one. Get in here. Okay, we're putting it back. We got we got fish to catch. Woo! So it's a simple setup. Two beats, a giant bobber. Uh, method feeder, that's what we call it. Some specs onto a hook. So what we do is we massage all the bread into the method feeder. It helps hold the bread together for casting weight. Put a little piece of bread on the hook. And you just kind of put it on there. So when you cast and it hits the water, the hook falls out and it's just dangling. The way the Mako and the Siamese carp eat, they don't come in and take chomp chomps. They inhale. So, you know, we're, we're having a cloud of bread, a cloud of rice husks. They're swimming by, sucking in, pushing out, sucking in, pushing out, and eventually inhaling the hook. Mold it, just kind of like, you're getting ready to throw a pitch on these balls, just kind of like, you want to feel it to be like one consistency together. The hook and the extra bread. Just poke that in there, give it a good squeeze again, and ready to cast. Nope. What's going on here? Fish on. Get a little action. Just set it. Reel in, reel in tight. Feel the fish and set. Oh yeah! Hooked up. First fish of the Thailand excursion. A good one. Nice Just the average. The average. Box. We're going. <laughs> Not take long. Well. 
<laughs> and that is the first fish. It's really easy. Did you like good. that? That was good. You wanna? <laughs> Slimy! <laughs> We're gonna double net this one. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go, Jay. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Yeah! <laughs> That's a little bit of fish. There we go, boys. Double header. <laughs> double header. I don't think we've been fishing for an hour yet. I don't know. Hour 30 minute mark. Okay, so right. put it back. Yeah, you want to hold it for a while longer. Let's go. Right. I'm going to release this one nicely. Guys, this is, this is going to test me today, as Tap told us. Tap, was, Tap knew what was up. Let's like what do these little Canadian American boys know. Well, we don't know much. Oh, I'm slapping fish on Tap. Okay, tell us fish what we're on. doing. Oh, fish on, okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 